If you know the history of the Bible, you will understand and comprehend that the devil was the chief musician in heaven. And every time God wanted praise, he called on Satan. Every time he wanted praise, he had wind pipes in his wings and he began to flap and God would be glorified through his praise. But when the devil got puffed up and prideful, God kicked him out of heaven and now what happens is is we have replaced him by being the praise of God. Now every time God wants a praise he don't look for nobody else but the people he's created and he's made. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. I want you to definitely understand now the enemy does not fight you just because you have a calling and an anointing. He doesn't fight you just because you have a word on the inside of you. I told you he fights you because you are now taking his glory He's fighting you because he understands now he can't praise God no more. So there, whenever God looks for praise, he looks for you. And that's why the first thing the enemy would do is try to take your joy. The first thing the enemy will try to do is mess with your mind because he understands if you ever open your mouth, then God gets the glory. He knows if you ever lift your hands, even in the midst of a bad situation, God still gets the glory. Do I have anybody in here who's been in some tough spots and you've been in some rough places? You've been in a drought, in a situation where it seemed like there was no life but you found a praise on the inside and you said I will bless him at all times and his praise will continue to be rare in my mouth. Do I have anybody in here tonight who can take a pause for the cause and lift your hands and praise him just because he's God right now? Yeah, here it is. Now the fact that the enemy has the enemy now, Angel, excuse me, Elder Moore, has a board meeting concerning you. You are so important to God. Follow me. You are so important to God, whether you are seven or seventy-seven, you are and tell somebody you are important to God. You are important to God. You are so important to God, Elder Moore, that the enemy, the devil in his imps has a round table discussion, and the enemy writes out your name and slaps it in the middle of the table. And he says, we have to find a way to make sure he or she does not praise God, but yet they will hang themselves. And that's why the enemy now, he even in a, in, in, in a rough times, thoughts of suicide will become to come to your mind. Do I have anybody who's ever got to a place where you felt like ending it all? You didn't think, y'all didn't want to talk. Some of y'all acting real oh, hey. oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I can see it on your face that you have went down that road, but I'm so glad that God did not allow the enemy to overtake my mind. Yeah, but he gave me. God said, thou would keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. So now the enemy now meets, and I promise you to get better. We're going to have a good time tonight. The enemy now, he meets with the board members and he says we have to find a way to take Marcus Scott out of here. And so this makes me know and you have to change your perception of the trials you go through. You have to change how you look at a a problem or a situation. Your problem in your situation is not really a problem or a situation. It's an opportunity for God to get the glory out of your life. When you said yes, Lord, you told God, whenever you told God yes, you, that means uh, without saying it, you said, God, even when I'm crying, I'm still going to obey your word. Without saying, you signed it on the dotted line, you, God, you said, God, even with pain in my body, I know that you are a healer, and I don't care what's going on in my body, you are able to take it away from me. Yes, Lord, I praise you. So now, uh, the enemy now has a board meeting Pastor Scott, and he wants to defeat the body of Christ. Now, can I submit to you, people of God, there's a reason why he fights you, because he knows that you are powerful. You may not feel powerful, but you have power. Tell somebody you have power. You don't have to have a mic in your hand to solidify the power that you have on the inside of you. You don't need to find a title or a collar, praise God forevermore, to solidify or validate that you have power. But God never said that you would be able to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover if you was a preacher. But God said if you had power with him, you'd be able to lay hands on the sick and recover. Do I have anybody here tonight who has the faith enough to know 
And even when things are going wrong, I have enough power on the inside of me to speak to the pain that's going wrong. And yeah. I have to turn around for the good. God said all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. Tell somebody it's working for your good. It's working for your good. That was the wrong person telling me it was working for your good all time. The whole time it was working for your good. I'm getting ready to close early already, but I want you to understand, people of God, tonight, that if there is no attempted murder, if there is no attempted drive-by, if there is no attempted uh, uh, homicide on your life, that means you can't be very anointed. Go ahead. If you are not going through it, did you miss what I just said? If you are not going through anything in your life, that means means that you are not really on the mind of God. God, I love you tonight. Jesus. If you are not going to hell in yes. high water, if it's not one thing or another, that means you don't have what you say you have. Because whenever you have the Holy Ghost, whenever you have the power of the Holy Ghost, the devil puts an X on you and deems you as a target. Because he knows that if ever becomes to the full
it already. Yeah. 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 Thank you for receiving it. In 2017, you will not lose. God told me to tell you you will not lose. You will either win or you will learn. But you won't lose. to be afflicted. I think it was Paul said it was good for me to be afflicted. 
Jesus is working behind the scenes. Tell somebody say name, but Jesus is working behind the scenes. That's why you're still alive tonight. Because he's working behind the scenes. That's why you still got your mind. And something's still going in your faith. Thank you, I think I will, because God is still working behind the scenes. You can't get discouraged now, man of God. Because God has not forgotten. About you. Don't lose your joy now. I just had to get through here and let you know some things. God has not dropped you like man has dropped you. God may have been quiet for a season, but God is still there. Can the church say, Yes, Lord? Yes, Lord. I come to tell you tonight that Jesus is trying to tell you that for the blessings of the Lord, make it rich and add no sorrow. And I come to prophesy to about 20 people uh, who will receive this. Uh, that God is not going to just bless you. Uh, but this time we're going to bless you and make you happy. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 God said, he's going to put a smile on your face. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some of y'all been broken for so long, you don't know what happiness is. You don't know what true happiness is. But I come to tell you tonight, God said for this season, you'll get ready to smile. Tell somebody I knew you. Tell neighbor. God. God. You're going to put a smile on your face. But a weeble wobble was, you would hit the weeble wobble, and it would fall, but it would bounce right back in the place. Right now. So one day I got mad, because every time I hit the weeble wobble, I was trying to knock it down. Hey! 